I'm a Virgo rising, by the way, if anybody was curious. Hi everybody, it's your girl Emmy here. Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my bedroom, and welcome back to another episode of me. Today we're gonna to be talking about the rising signs, but before I talk about the signs, I wanted to just break down what the rising sign represents in astrology. Now, before I go any further, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you're not, it really does help me out and it validates me and lets me know that you like me. So let me know that you like me. Your rising sign makes up your first house. The houses would follow from your rising sign and then the following sign being your second, third, and fourth, and so on. Each house has a statement and the first house statement is I am. So the first house and your rising sign is all about how you present yourself to the world. It's first impressions. It's how and who you feel you are and the energy that you present to the world. And is also how people see you when they first meet you. Your rising sign also makes your physical appearance. So Astro Finesse, who is an amazing astrologer on YouTube, um, he made this example. The outside of the house, right? How the house looks on the outside. Doesn't necessarily mean well, how it's going to be on the inside, right? So your, the outside of the house would be your rising sign. The living room, okay, the common area, the sun sign, where people spend the most time in a house. Making it your sun sign being your general energy. Now your moon sign would be your bedroom. It's the most intimate and exclusive part of you that not everybody gets to see, right? So making the moon sign be your private emotions and inner self. Your rising sign also determines your chart ruler. Um, your chart ruler is basically the planet that rules your uh, rising sign. So if you have, for example, a Gemini rising, a Virgo rising, your chart ruler would be Mercury. If you have a Libra rising or a Taurus rising, then your chart ruler would be Venus. So your chart ruler means that you have these predominant characteristics that would be related to that planet. For example, if you're a Scorpio or an Aries, your chart ruler would be Mars. So when people first meet you or your overall gener general energy is very determined, it's very focused, um, it's driven, sure of themselves, maybe even a little bit competitive. So yeah, I just wanted to give a little example of how rising signs play out, the basis of what the rising sign represents. So now let's move into the next sign. Moving on to Virgos. So Virgo, when you first meet a Virgo, they probably come off very introverted, um, reserved. I feel like Virgos tend to be very health focused or like to take care of their bodies. So they might be vegetarian, they might be really into holistic health or um, working out, just taking care of their body overall. Now, Virgos are very helpful people. Their love language, I would say, is acts of service. So a Virgo rising, they'll probably like, you know, if you're coughing, bring you a cup of water, uh, like little things like that. Like Virgos, they notice everything and they're very like nitpicky and like they notice the smallest things. So um, that's kind of how they will show affection for you, if that makes sense. They're perfectionists. So when you meet a Virgo rising, they're probably come off very well put together. They they pay attention to the small details of how they present themselves, maybe color coordinating, um, you know, only silver jewelry, like to match the silver buttons, like just those minor details they're really focused on. They like to analyze people, um, especially when they first meet them because they want to figure out like how you move and if this is really somebody they can trust. Just really just like peeping, they like to just like peep. Um, Virgos, even though they don't really like say much, they notice like a lot, they notice a lot. Nothing goes unnoticed when it comes to Virgo rising. Just because they don't say what they saw doesn't mean they didn't see it. They're all about details. They like to plan things. They're pretty organized people. I kind of struggle with this actually, but I have a lot of Gemini placements, so contradiction in that area. They're all about the details. They take a while to make a decision. I feel like Virgos, they really want to make sure they're making the right decision. So when it comes to things in the physical world, you might notice that you're so worried about making the right decision that you take so long to make the right decision that the right decision is kind of no decision because it was kind of choosed for you, if that makes sense, because you waited so long. Um, comment down below if that makes sense or if that resonated. Yeah, like timing. Timing is just everything um, for you and you really just want to be sure that you got it right. Um, now, Virgo Rising. So this is a place when that will surprise you. Um, yeah, they're very reserved and, you know, to themselves when they first meet you. But once they get comfortable with you, they'll probably be a completely different person. 
um, very talkative even, um, sharing all of their thoughts. They like to like show off all the things that they, not show off the things that they know, like a Gemini, but like once they're comfortable with you, they're gonna be like, hey, like, did you know this? Or like blah, 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 blah. Or like, they just, they like to share knowledge and like, they like to share knowledge and like let you know what they know. You know, they want you, they want you to know how smart they are. They come off, they can come off a little bit nit nitpicky just because they're all about improvement. So removing what doesn't work, it is possible. You might make comments that bother people and you don't even realize it. Like maybe somebody got a haircut and you're like, oh, it should have been shorter or like, oh, it's uneven actually. Like things like that, like just because you're a perfectionist and so analytical and like notice the small details, like it's like people don't want to hear that. Um, so yeah, you might notice you do do that with people. They also, I feel like Virgo Risings might suffer from like a lot of negative self-talk uh, just because you want things to be so perfect or like tried and like you're always trying to make things better to the point where you like kind of fixate on the things that are wrong especially when it comes to the things that are about yourself like you might be extra hard on yourself or like you know analytical on the things that you don't like about your own body body or the things in your own world or the relationships that you have um, you might hyper fixate on what's wrong instead of enjoying all the things that are right. But this does depend on where what your moon is in and also your mercury, like of the severity of this. But I feel like Virgo risings and like Gemini risings, just mercury ruled placements um, can suffer with like uh, anxiety or like social anxiety comment down below if that resonates with you well some advice for virgos is to understand that there's no such thing as perfect and we're imperfectly perfect we're imperfectly perfect so just breathe just breathe babe it's okay you know everybody has flaws and your flaws make you beautiful also like just be really mindful of how you talk to yourself um the mind is a very powerful tool and if you program it to focus on everything that you don't like you might in turn become very pessimistic so put some uh positive thoughts in that cranium of yours okay can you do that for me <laughs> but yeah zoom out a little bit and focus on the bigger picture um and don't self-sabotage self-sabotage i think is also a thing so yeah zoom out maybe get a vision board remind yourself of the things that are bigger than you and be patient with yourself but yeah um, that's my interpretation of a Virgo rising. Please comment down below and let me know what you thought. Let me know if it resonated, if I forgot anything. I am all about taking suggestions, so let me know down below. Um, if you like this video, or if you just like me, <laughs> um, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. The next is Libra. And have a good one. Bye.